Today we're going to talk about extended facts with multiplication and division. Now these are really easy. As long as you know your simple facts, your multiplication facts, you'll be fine with doing extended facts. So let's look at the problem of six 80s. Now at first you might be a little overwhelmed because you say, hey, 80s, I don't know how to do six times 80, but it's easy. All you have to do is cover the zero and look at it as 6 times 8. And since you guys are so smart, you know that 6 times 8 is 48. Now you covered one zero, which means that it's actually 48 times 10. So you would tag on the zero that you covered with your finger, and the answer is 480. See? Simple. Next problem. Let's look at 9, 5, hundreds. Oh my goodness, 500 times 9. How are we going to do that? Well, once again, you're going to cover the two zeros and you're going to look at it as 9 times 5. Now what's 9 times 5? 45. So we're going to write that down. And then how many zeros did you cover? You covered two zeros, which means your answer is actually times 100. Or you can say, let's tag on two zeros. Now let's do our comma. We count over three. It's 4,500. Let's do one more. Three, eight thousands. Well, that's actually three times eight thousand. And we're going to go ahead and cover all the zeros so that we just see our simple fact. And our simple fact is three times eight. Three times eight, I know, is 24. Now we covered three zeros, which means we have to go ahead and tag those back on. So we're going to do one, two, three zeros. Put the comma in, your answer is 24,000. Fairly easy. Now let's look at division. Oh, division's overwhelming. No, actually, division's really easy. It's just the opposite of multiplication. So let's think about how many threes are in 21. That's fairly easy. Um, we know our multiplication facts, and we know that 7 times 3 is 21, so we can go ahead and write down 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Okay, now, how about 3's in 210? Well, I know this fact, so I know that there are at least 7 3's in 21, I'm going to cover the zero again, or I just crossed it out. Maybe I shouldn't have crossed it out. I'm going to cover the zero. There are seven threes in 21. Now, I'm going to tag that zero back onto my answer because just like in multiplication up here, if you cover a zero, you always have to put the zero back on the answer. So how about 630 divided by 7? Oh, my goodness. I can't do that in my head but actually you can. Cover the zero, and you see that it's 63 divided by seven. 63 divided by seven we know is nine, and then since we covered that zero, we gotta put it back on the answer. And tag the zero on, your answer is 90. Let's do one more that's a little bit harder. How about 6,300 divided by seven? Ooh, that's a big number. Well, I'm going to cover those two zeros, and I still see 63 divided by 7 is 9. So I'm going to put the 9 there, and then look back. There we have two zeros that we covered, so the answer is 900. If I were to check my answer, which you should always check your answer, cover these zeros, and do 7 times 9. We know that's 63. Take your finger off the zeros. You covered two, so then two zeros right here, 6,300. So once you cover a zero, or two zeros, or even three zeros, you always have to put them on the answer, tag them on, in order to multiply that by 10 or by 100. Great. Now we know how to do extended facts. And you can go all the way up to the millions, because it's super simple.